next on Dress to Kill. Your challenge for today is to style a look that gets you noticed. How's it going? You can't squeeze your foot in there. There was an element of tragic to it. <laughs> Six of the country's top stylists will face each other in a head-to-head -head match for points. Then, a single elimination tournament will decide the winner. This is Dress to Kill. Welcome back to the workroom. Thank you. I'd like to introduce you to Chriselle Lim, former fashion stylist and one of the most influential tastemakers on the web. Hello, Corey. Hello, Biagi. Hello. Don't worry. She's not here to judge you. We know you get a lot of that. <laughs> Chriselle is here to help you because today we are going to raise the stakes even more. In this challenge, you must dress to kill. Otherwise, you will be eliminated from the challenge. Biagi, with a record of only two wins and three losses, you now have to compete against Corey, who has three wins and two losses. How are you guys feeling? Good. Pretty good. We are expecting a lot from you today because you are competing for the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to be a featured stylist for Glamour magazine. Your challenge for today is to style Nicole and Tiana in a look that gets you noticed. With so many beautiful people in the world, putting together an outfit that makes you stand out in a crowd is crucial. Stylist, you will have 10 minutes to complete your look. And just because it's an elimination challenge doesn't mean we forgot the mystery item. <laughs> Today's mystery item is neon. We'd like you to incorporate any neon item you find here in the workroom today into your outfit. Good luck to both of you. Thank your you. time starts now. Corey, when oh. you think of getting, getting noticed, noticed, what do you think of? The person that I think of standing mind. out, I think of edgy, I think of I see a lot of pants overall. here. A lot of pants going on. A lot of pants going on. Lots of colors and print. Lots of colors and print. We want to stand out, so we definitely want to give them something to look at. We want to use color, we want to use texture, we want to use cuts. And then, of course, the way that they're paired together. It's going to really seal the deal for and us. And where, where would you stand out the most in this outfit that you're thinking I think in this outfit she's going to stand out no matter where she goes. Corey, how are we doing? Pretty good, pretty good. I see a lot of animal print. Yes. Lots of oversized jackets, white mm -hmm. flats. Yes. Is your girl the sophisticated girl? She's a fashion girl. She's fashion a, girl? Yes, okay. totally. And where do you think she would stand out? She can stand out in a crowd from downtown to uptown, Paris, London. Well, we'll tr trot her, right? Yes. Awesome. So we have a lace top here, and I see leather shorts. Indeed. You can tuck that in, Julie. Really, really cute. Something I would wear. Thank you. And can you tell me a little bit of why you picked this shoe? Um, I wanted, again, to go with textures, color. We still want her to feel rich. We want her to get noticed for all the right reasons and not the wrong reasons. <laughs> can you see it? And did you add this belt or did it come with it? Yeah, um, I just added the belt. Oh, OK. It looks interesting because it actually looks like it's a part of the, the short. Thanks. And it has a little bit of animal texture in it that goes with the... Exactly. Ah, so you did notice all these I little did. details. I love it. I love it. It's minimalistic, but it's still bold. I'm super minimalistic on this look, and I definitely want her, again, to stand out in that crowd no matter what. I love this. Over the shoulder. So yep. clean and sleek. I'm all about over the shoulder. Ooh. I'm, I'm digging the animal print. I like that it's oversized on top and slim on the bottom. Yes, that's what I'm going for. And have we picked out the shoes yet or no? Not yet. Not yet, okay. Try these on, honey. Can you get it? Can you get that? How's it going? You can't squeeze your foot in there. Oh, man. They hurt. Can you? I'm sorry. 
I'm so sorry, but these go so perfect. I like that you toned down the neon with neutrals, blacks. I've noticed that it's kind of what you have going on too with your neon shoes. It is very And your blacks nice and grays. Yeah. It is, um, I, I definitely practice what I preach. <laughs> so this is an outfit you would wear? 100%. I would walk out with this right now. I would too. <laughs> is this intentional that we put the strap around? It is. Okay. I actually wear my jacket like this a lot. And okay. when I, sometimes when the wind blows, it sort of flies off. But I put mm. my crossbody on it and it keeps That's it. a great tip right there. It's practical, but it looks very, very chic. Thank you. Yeah. I am loving this. <laughs> Thank you. I think the hat really completes it. I need safety pins. The neon and animal print works even though they're both like really bold. Right. It's a bright color here. It's a bold print up here. And then you have even neon on the clutch. Like how, how did you bring this all together? Well, it's all about contrast things. Mm. So I just thought contrast. And then the pump kind of makes it a little bit more sophisticated. A little more sophisticated, uh -huh. but still edgy. Mm -hmm. And then what does the hat do for this look? Just funks it up. Funks it just, up? Yeah, totally. Okay. Um, shoot, I need it. Just in case that doesn't work. We have to get your hair and makeup, honey. Don't worry about that. Oh, these shoes, man. Hey, honey, try these. And then how about I'm gonna have to at this point. Um... And this is broken. Safety pin, anyone? For the strap? Yeah, I'm just gonna use these. But now this strap is popped. It's just like. Here, I found a safety pin. Thank you. On the ground. Thank you so much. She looks quite mysterious with her hat because she can't She's see her eyes. She's supposed to. She's a dangerous girl. I am digging it's it. Wonderful. Yeah. Honey, you're coming to cause havoc. Okay, time is up. Everybody, hands off. Tori, good. Okay, great. Let's see how much they can stand out. <laughs> we'll see you guys soon in the judges' room. Thank you. <laughs> Give them an attitude, girl. There you go. Hello, stylists. You remember our judges, Christina Perez, Style Development Editor for Glamour Magazine. Hello, Hi, Christina. Christina. And Rajni Jacques, Fashion News Editor for Glamour Magazine. Hello, Hi. Rajni. Hi, guys. Biagi, please tell us what you came up with. I loved the shirt when I saw it. I thought it had great color. I loved the texture. I loved the mixing of the patterns. I thought it was amazing. I wanted to tone it down a bit with a nice leather black short. It's still really classic. It's still great for the season. It toned the color down a little bit. I went with a lizard textured belt. It's actually stingray textured. And then we went with a python sandal. Again, mixing the textures. I personally love wearing my jackets just over my shoulder and an epaulette always makes me feel really strong and confident. Sometimes when I do wear that though, the wind might blow it off a bit, so I put a crossbody over it to keep it in place and that's where this crossbody came in and I just love it. I actually love the bag itself and then the color for this one. And then she's got her glasses on so she can just be really fierce and she's ready to go. Why did you choose those shoes? She had the shirt on already and I saw those shoes and I, I got a feeling of just mixing textures and I just sort of was feeling animal and it sort of went from there. Do you normally mix snakeskin with floral prints and neon? You don't normally, but you can now. I like to think as a stylist, we make the rules, not follow the rules. So I like to try to create new things every now and again and just try new stuff. Do you think using so much black is a way to stand out in a crowd? I think standing out in a crowd is not necessarily about the color you're wearing, but it's about the energy you're giving off. If you're confident, you look amazing, you feel amazing, and you look strong, and you got a great walk, that's what's gonna make you stand out in the crowd. Do you think using neon within your look helps stand out in a crowd? I definitely think it helps. You definitely wanna attract the eye to you initially, and then once it gets there, you can give them all the energy and sass that you want to keep them there. I noticed that you don't have very many accessories. In fact, you don't have any yeah. pieces of jewelry. The accessories that were available to us weren't adding to the outfit, they were taking away from the outfit, so I would rather not put any on than take away from the look. Thank you, Piaggi. Thank you. Corey, tell us about your look. 
Hi, so my girl is in the center of Lincoln Center. <laughs> and she is eye-catching and all eyes are on her. She's definitely giving you a statement. I think the shoes play off of the zippers on the side of the neon pants, the metallic, which also plays off the band going around her hat. I just gave it a contrasting, edgy look. I thought Vivian Westwood when I saw the jacket. So oversized at the top, slimming at the bottom, edgy stud earrings. I thought that was an added little contrast. I just think she's just dressed to kill. Why did you decide to pair a hat with this look? To cause drama. Anything and drama. it plays off of the jacket, and it just works well, I think. Anything drama is eye-catching. Totally. Do you think uh, kitten heel is eye-catching? I thought this would be the most appropriate out of all the heels, the pointed toe and the straps. I thought it worked well. Mm. And what does she have under the jacket? Can I take a look? Turn around. And I used the, the printed jacket to break it up. I didn't want to do all black, so this was to break it all up. And why did you go with a biased hemmed shirt for that type of pant? I like the way it cascades outside of the jacket to give it a peak, mm -hmm. just a little silhouette. And it's flowy and not so restricted around her waist, so it flows well. Did you think at all when, when a jacket was off about her nude bra strap showing on the sides? I didn't quite keep that in mind. She didn't plan on taking her jacket off. Okay. Which of these pieces did you pick first? This and this. Because I wanted to contrast the neon pants to give it a pop. Okay, well thank you, Silas. You may return to the workroom. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, so why don't we start with Biagi's look? If I'm being perfectly honest, I didn't really have much bad to say about Biagi's look. I thought it was executed really well and I would I would wear that right now. I totally agree. I just think the print to the leather pants and then the belt and like the little details, the stingray that she had on the belt that kind of matched back to the pattern of the shoes. She used neon perfectly, not too much, mm -hmm. and then offset it with the black, mm -hmm. but it was so chic looking at the same time. It was mm -hmm. really chic and I think she executed it really well and she ended up making neon look really elegant, mm -hmm. I thought. I think the shoes were a perfect mix of texture. Those shoes I was sort of going back and forth with. What would you have wanted yeah, to see I instead? I liked the shape of them, and I liked that she was trying to go for a neutral, but I almost would have liked to see her do maybe black or a taupe color. But that's if I'm really being nitpicky. Probably one of the best things she said when she was up there was, using the crossbody bag to keep the jacket stationary. Mm -hmm. Such a good tip. It's mm -hmm. such a good really tip. Because I think we all love wearing our jackets over our I shoulders. It's yeah. such a chic look. And I also really loved how she said, when you want to get noticed, you should feel really confident. Mm -hmm. The only thing is that to put on all black is pretty safe. I mean, that's not the most noticeable thing. If we were in a crowd and I saw the two, my eye would probably go straight to Corey's, maybe not exactly for the right reasons, mm -hmm. but hers wasn't as stand out of an outfit. That's a good point. When Corey said that his model was in the center of Lincoln Center for Fashion Week, ready to get noticed by a street style photographer, I could kind of see it. I don't know, guys, I'm gonna have to disagree. There was an element of tragic to it. It was like, you know, you go to Lincoln Center and there's those, there are those girls who are not going into the show. They're just lingering about the show because they want the street stylers to take right. a picture of them. That's what it reminded me of. And I also think he used that hat as like the topper of look at me. I like the way that he played with proportions. I like the oversized jacket to the kind of billowy pant that then slimmed down at the end. Mm -hmm. And I was not mad at the kitten heel, because I felt like if he were to put a platform or a heel heel, it too would be much. too much with the hat. Mm -hmm. And so the kitten heel kind of softened it. Right, I think the kitten heel was his way of being like, okay, I've got a lot going on on top, so I'm going to even it out with something on the bottom. I really liked the way Corey matched the neon green bag to the turquoise pants. I thought that was a really cool color combination. Were Corey's pants even neon? No, I, I don't mean, know. I they were kind of more of a bright green for me, uh, kind of teetering on neon, but not borderline neon. But you know what? Maybe it's because his purse was so neon, and the contrast made that look just like bright green. That's yeah, that's possible. Well, it seems we have our decision. Let's call the stylist back.
Corey. <laughs> I really, really love the way you mixed this bright neon with the bright turquoise of the pants. Pants aren't quite neon, but I think mixing a really bright color with a neon is a little scary. It's a little risky, and I think you really hit that perfectly. It's a really elegant execution of mixing bright and neon together. Corey, you have two items that are overpowering each other. Mm -hmm. I think the hat is a bit much. And then paired with the oversized jacket, that's a bit much. They're two kind of competing items. Mm -hmm. And I wish you would have streamlined it a bit. Okay. Thank you. Biagi, I love the way that you were able to take this pattern and make it all your own. Mm -hmm. I just felt the way that you were able to put together this outfit was very chic, and I would totally look at a girl that was wearing that. Mm -hmm. I also love that little tidbit you gave us. I love wearing my jacket on my shoulders, and just putting a crossbody, I would never ever thought about that. So thanks for the tip. You're welcome. And our Glamour readers are gonna love that one, and I think the outfit is great. Thank you. While I agree with Rajni, the one thing that really bothers me about your outfit are those shoes. I would have liked to see something maybe just a little bit more neutral to let that beautiful neon print really stand out. It all comes down to this. The person who dressed to kill is Biagi, you dressed to kill. Thank Congratulations. You so much, guys. Thank you. Biagi, we honestly feel like this was the best outfit we've seen in all competition. Thank you. I felt the same. I'm super excited to have won my last challenge. I'm excited to move on in the competition and excited to see what else they're going to challenge us with. Corey, I'm so sorry. We have loved seeing all your Thank creativity you. and fun and color and personality. We think you have such a bright future but unfortunately, this is just the end for you. Thank you, thank you. I'm happy. It doesn't stop anything for me, but getting the opportunity to be featured in Grammar Magazine, regardless, I'm still a winner. I'll always be a winner. While we appreciated the Fashion Week idea, the outfit just didn't live up to the inspiration. Okay. You may take your model and go. Okay. Congratulations, Biagi. You survived another day in the workroom. How do you feel? I'm excited. I can't wait to see what's next. Well, we look forward to seeing you in the finale. I look forward to trying to impress you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good luck. Thank you. Good job. Good job. You did awesome, too. Next, on the final episode of Dress to Kill. Today, your challenge is to style brides-to-be for their big day. I'm just thinking, find cool Stuff. It seems like you know exactly what you're oh, looking for. I do. So oh, we're just and they grabbed it already. <laughs> oh no. How are we gonna incorporate the pieces that you bought from the vintage store then? I don't know yet. To see the finale of Dress to Kill, subscribe to the Glamour channel. Follow us on Twitter at Glamour Mag. Leave a comment in the comments below.